This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. Welcome back to Matt Nair on Air. Jay Matt Nair, Greg Buck, Jess P.S. on the board. In for Calvin, we are coming to you live from our studio at Radio Park here in Racine. You can always join us. You can call. You can text. The number is the same, 855-752-4842. Leave a comment if you're watching on the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and what used to be Twitter. Before we went to break, we were just talking about what you've been watching to escape mm-hmm. lately. And we had some good stuff coming in on the text line we wanted to share with you quick. Yeah, Steve from Milwaukee said The Diplomat is really good. That is really good. I've with Carrie Russell? Carrie Russell and uh, now this season, uh, Allison Janney is on there Ooh. as well. It's really good, good cast. Very Political intrigue is really great. Uh, also, we got from Matt in Germantown, Resident Alien, which I also confirm is a great sci-fi comedy. And Abbott Elementary, which is just good by proof. It's won, like, all the Emmys. So many Emmys, yes. yeah. So, And someone, uh, Sue from Franklin, said Scandal. Eh, too much drama for me, thank you very much. Just too much drama. Well, you get really caught up in it, though. Yeah. That was that was a great show. Uh, and then L.A. Tom said, did anyone see Wicked? Great Escape. I imagine that scene. I bet like, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, I'm so excited to see it. When, just, are, when are you going to go see it, Jess? Uh, that's a great question. Are you going to sing during the show while people are watching and pay Murphy. their money? Murphy. No, no. Okay. I'll, I'll save that for my car. <laughs> awesome. I have good. some courtesy. Thank you. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's that's a controversial thing that is apparently happening. <laughs> Don't sing along at Wicked. Unless, I mean, if they have a screening that markets itself yeah. as like a sing-along and yes. i wish they would yeah yeah do that yeah that would make so much more money for them yeah, yeah. But- and they had a pretty good opening weekend holy cow yeah as it was all right it's eleven fifty-three. that means it is time for this shouldn't be a thing if you ever have a thing that should not be, send it into Greg and me at Jane says at civicmedia.us J A N E S A Y S. Jane says at civicmedia.us, today's thing is the missing shoe edition from the Washington Post. The headline read, pause up. Police find shoe thief at kindergarten is actually a weasel. <laughs> Children's shoes were by Naomi Sh- Shannon on the Washington Post. Children's shoes were disappearing in droves from a kindergarten in Japan. And it worried parents and teachers so much they called in the police. At the scene of the crime, shoes were scattered around the school grounds. Some of the shoes were in a pile right by the entrance. Others were stuck in some of the fences. Looked like the work of a very clumsy thief. Didn't have much of a plan. (laughs) Fifteen shoes in total went missing from the premises of this kindergarten in Japan. The following morning, six more shoes were missing. We thought we were dealing with someone disturbed, someone perhaps with an obsession with children's shoes. Weirdo. (laughs) Wasn't that. Police installed three cameras. Took four days before another shoe went missing. They went through the video footage, (laughs) and they caught their culprit, Red Pod. Oh. Boom. Good one. A sneaky weasel could be seen cautiously approaching coming holes, storing the children's shoes around 8 o'clock at night. Before dashing off with a single shoe in its mouth, it's not clear if the weasel was working alone (laughs) or if others were involved in earlier incidents. It's actually in the article. What we have here is a network of stealing weasels. It's Ocean's Eleven weasel style. We were very relieved to find out it was just a weasel. If it had been someone sketchy, we kept thinking, would they escalate it further? None of us were expecting this to turn into such a big media story. The kids love the weasel. They think it's so cute when they show them the video. Of course, in Japan, it is customary that you remove your shoes. Yes, of course. When you come in and then you change into different shoes, Mm -hmm. apparently. But uh, the weasel apparently is still visiting. They've they've put nets now over the cubby holes so the weasel can't get at the shoes. It has not stolen anything since the netting has been implemented. 
If it keeps drying, they will leave scents to deter weasels around the shoe storage area in order to keep it away. I did not know this. Weasels are notorious for stealing and stashing. People who keep pets as weasels find they sometimes stash away their owner's socks and slippers. Yeah, that's why you weasel something away. <laughs> so Weasley. Weasley. That's also what happens when you have a dog sometimes, but that's another story. I love how this story ends. It's it, no, I think like if this was about America, it would have been like we laid down traps to try to get it. It's yeah. like we're just trying to make sure it doesn't get at the kids or the we're fine. Yeah. The weasel's fine. My my favorite line in the entire story is it's not clear if the weasel was working <laughs> alone. <laughs> All right, that wraps up, wraps up today's edition of This Shouldn't Be a Thing. Coming up tomorrow, Hans Breitenmoser yes. is going to be here. Very, very looking forward to, to talking to him. He's on Pat Kreitler's show frequently, at least yes. once a week. And uh, he's got great insight about, he is a farmer, mm -hmm. and he's got great insight about the farm bill, the languishing, continuing to languish farm bill, and also the potential tariffs that... Uh, the president-elect has talked about, so we'll be talking to Hans tomorrow, as well as many other things. Yeah, we'll have many, 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 many things. Many, many things, things, which many have things. yet to be determined. Yeah. Um, we do have special programming for you on Thanksgiving Day. Yes, we do. We have a specially curated show for you, and then you and I are going to be taking off yes. on Friday, this coming Friday, and the following Monday. My goodness. So Matt Rothschild has been gracious enough to step in, and he will be covering for us. It's Jess gonna is going to be with us for the rest of the week, and I hope you will, too. Stay tuned. News is coming up next. Thank you, Greg and Jess and all of our engineers. Without you, nothing works. And thank you most of all for calling and for texting and for listening. It absolutely means the world. I hope you find some joy today, even just a little bit, and you have the chance to share it. Keep it right here on the Civic Media Radio Network. We'll see you tomorrow. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.